What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to part two of the walkthrough. So from here, we are going to head on down right at that hole and pick up our shell where we died and actually clear that camp first. Remember, there's going to be two enemies waiting as you pop on out. actually kind of good so I can now I can pick that back up oh no Why am I getting scrubbed on all right anyway head on up into this camp couple of little loots we want to grab here. Now that we have some resolve, we can use this. That will kill those big guys just outright. that. Oh, there it is. Get this chest. Now that untarnished mask we just picked up, that is similar to the mask we got from Sester, except this mask will not cost glimpses when you travel. It's obviously single use, so think of it like a, a homeward bone. Uh, these are the fish chests. Those are locked until the world is in a fog state. A fog state will occur after we have taken down uh, a temple boss. So just ignore those for now. Uh, we'll be doing a loop and covering how to get all those after we have taken down our first boss in the temple. all the goodies here. Rotten food can also be used to heal, but it will uh, eat up a lot of your resolve. I wouldn't recommend using it, even then the heal is very, very minimal on it. Drop on down, grab this shrimp, and here we are right back at the start. This is the very first camp that we had, uh, that we saw, the first chest that we got. So we're going to knock out this camp and that camp next. And as you begin to progress, you're going to notice bear traps all over the place. Just kind of be aware of those. Nothing sucks more than getting caught in a bear trap. Which I'm sure I'll fall into one at least once or twice. You can also lure enemies into them. There's an achievement for killing an enemy in one. Boiled Frog gives you a stamina buff, which will regen your stamina quite a bit. Uh, I like to save them for bosses, but they're not bad if you're going to be farming a bunch of enemies. It's because they do last a while. I want to say it's three minutes. Clamp for a glimpse, continue ahead and rest if you need to. Next, back into the Grisha Cave. Okay. This is actually good. We can we can rest and just get back our uh, get back our dot. So if you look at the bottom left right now, you'll notice that next to the little red icon, there's just an empty circle. That indicates whether or not you're going to be able to climb back into your shell. So anytime you speak with her, you'll be able to to do that. Um, we're going to do this real fast. 
just has some nice synergy with the, the get health on glimpses. You can combine those, it'll make this early progression a little bit easier. You can see I have a little white orb there. That means that buff is back up. So we're going to be going into this cave where we fought the Grisha. Uh, this whole map is interconnected. The, the Falgrim area, at least, is all interconnected by tunnels. That tunnel will lead us to the back of the effigy area. This will lead us towards the, uh, the obsidian area. And before we... Well, I'll wait until I get through the hole. After we get through the hole, we're going to pop that, that bell. And then that'll give us a 10% bonus to tar for the next, uh, I believe it's six minutes or so. So it'll just be nice to have that while we farm. Which actually, you know what? Let's let's get the first weapon first and then pop that. That would make more sense. We'll get the very we'll get our, our first alternate weapon and then we'll come back. Which it'll be pretty easy to pick those up with a, a upgrade in our sword. And just to kind of show the luring, as you can see, there's all these bear traps here. Alright, just walk back a little. Makes it real easy to take down the big guys. with my parry. So here we are at the camp. Now, we're going to be farming up all of these guys for now. Just run past them. And we're going to go get our first alternate weapon. Grab that. Sprint up the stairs. Oh boy. Took a little pop shot there. And this is the very first temple. Uh, now, there's three different temples in the game. Each temple has a, a final boss at the end, uh, in addition to a upgrade to increase the healing off your empowered repasts, and two acids. Uh, each temple layout is initially the same when you first walk in. You're going to have Cester right here at the beginning, so you can sip, get your health back, all that stuff. Uh, right here there'll be a statue, and then right here is a book. By interacting with the book, you'll be put into a one-on-one -on -one fight against Hadron. If you beat him, you will gain access to the weapon and the statue. So this one is for getting the smoldering mace. Now in terms of getting the weapons personally, I think this is probably the hardest to get. Only because the... Uh, the mace's windows are very delayed, so trying to get parries off on this guy is pretty tricky. Uh, as long as you're aggressive and you use your specials though, especially with our weapon having been upgraded, we should be alright. just how slow those mace swings are. I did not have hard enough in time, it's okay. If you watch the Let's Play, you already know that this is a massive difference in uh, how much damage I was doing when I didn't have the upgrades. I'm pretty much just spamming away. I'm not even trying to dodge at this point. And 
now the uh, big old fish will come and eat us. And after that, we have access to the smoldering ice. Now this is actually the very first temple we're going to cover, but let's say you want to use the mace as your main. Um, real fast, I'm going to do a little bit of a suicide run here just to show you where the first upgrade is because it is very early in this zone. And if you're going to pick up and start using the mace, you might as well get it. So we have a room here with some enemies. We're going to want to just sprint past this. Sprint past that guy and right down here. Interact with this and then just get ready to dip out and run. We got the foundry stone. Should summon the ghosts? Yeah, there we go. There are the shades. Uh, the shades are going to summon up fire to try and burn you, but you know, our whole whole thing here is just to get that foundry stone in the event that you're like, you know what, I think I want to use this mace. Now you have access to the uh, first special, the mace, which will imbue it with fire and allow you to deal extra fire damage to enemies. But anyway, after you've done that, head on back out and we're going to tackle the rest of this area and make our way to get the next weapon. All right, now since we are going to be killing a bunch, now is a great time to use that bell. Six minutes, 10% bonus. we have is Let's lure this guy on in can punch attack, just come up from high and then just drop and hit light attack at the same time. Also great tactic to kill multiple enemies. I'll lure these guys on over. Actually, while we're doing all this, let me go ahead and pop a, uh, I only have one frog. Um, sign you up top. Uh, re make sure you keep at least one roasted rat. You're going to want one for a hidden achievement in a little bit, so don't use your last rat. the camp where we snatched that uh snatched that asset from early on oh boy, no. thought i had my uh my thing 
thing I did not have it. Uh, if you need to to go back to base, if you're like low if you've lost your, your shell, keep in mind the base is right over that way. Which actually probably wouldn't be a bad idea to run there right now, but we'll, we'll go in a little bit. Um, let me check my notes here. The camp at the end has the acid. Now yeah, we'll just do this. So this is going to bring us to the battery area. Quite a few enemies here we need to fight past. And then we're going to use this to tackle the area that uh, is where we got teal. So it, look at your tar spores. If you have at least two, pop them in quick succession. The first one is going to poison you. The second one will max familiarity and give you immunity to poison. Now you don't need to do this just yet, but I'm suggesting you do it now because you should have enough tar spores to do it at this moment. And uh, it's one of those things that you'll want to do so that you don't forget about it later. Because you, know, you want to be able to pop a tar spore immediately when we come up on poison enemies, which is in just a little bit. today. I don't know why, but just parrying like garbage. I'm just going too early. Moonshine. That will give you a bunch of resolve, but don't use it just yet. We need that as well for the uh, the secret ending we're going to get a little bit. You basically need one superior moonshine and one uh, roasted rat to get it. Not my day for parries. This. Bunch him. Bunch him. This guy will walk forward into the bear trap if you give him a second. couple enemies up there, but for now, circle around this way. Go ahead. Grab that item. Go this baddie. Go up this way.
go Glim Seal finally. and uh, get the Martyr's Blade. <laughs> so this is a plunge ledge. Uh, just lure them on over. It's a little bit slippery. But just kind of go... Uh, not get the plunge, unfortunately. Kill all them. Uh, let me check my notes. Kill them for the moonshine. Let's see. Um, superior moonshine head down. What are you doing? Stop that. Uh, kill the enemies. Circle right. Item by the back by the logs. Clear the guys. Spectral shroom. Pull for some baddies. Go through the hole for spore. Just to obsidian. Okay. So from here, let's go back over this way. Uh, there is a frog right here. These frogs will jump into you and suicide and explode and poison you. Something to be aware of. Now we're going to go ahead and pick up the third weapon now. Martyr's Blade. We'll grab the very first upgrade for that as well. It's also really early. Just like before, make sure you talk to Sester. Keep in mind, we're trying to save up our tar, so I know it sounds good to, to get another upgrade, but hang on, because uh, we're going to want that tar. Alright, once again, we will recite and do the book thing. So probably we'll probably wrap this episode up here after we finish this because there is still a, a decent chunk. We need to make our way all the way down to the the effigy area. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it depends how fast I kill this guy. So his running attack is going to be the easiest to parry. Uh, besides that one attack, I would recommend trying to parry this one. Remember that we get iframes during that whole special. Um, and if he hits you, he will follow up with a lot of attacks. Just something to keep in mind. So, we're going to put some distance. We'll bait him into doing the running attack again and get a parry. Or just whiff it. Once again, highly, highly recommend that you put at least one upgrade into the Hallowed Sword, the one we're using right now, even if you don't plan on using it for long. Just having that one upgrade will make these fights so much easier.
ranked. Um, so sure to interact. Uh, and the Bardic's Blade is your, your slow boy. Lost a lot of stamina to use, but it is very powerful. Probably the biggest appeal of this weapon is, um, for starters, it has a unique ability to freeze enemies with the special. Yes. So you can literally Please. freeze enemies solid with your heavy attack, and you can do that multiple times. So like heavy attack, they're frozen. Heavy attack, they're frozen. Heavy attack, they're frozen. Um, so just to guide you to that real fast, run past the jumpers here. Run past the corpse monster guy. This is why I call him jumpers for this shit. Run into this one. Alright, now that you have the petrified winter glass, if the martyr's blade is your weapon of choice, you'll be able to get that special. Door to the left. Talk to her, and now the world state is reset, but we have our weapon and the very first upgrade for it. So we're going to wrap things up here. Um, I think because we got these upgrades, I, I am going to guide you all to get the, the first upgrade for the hammer and chisel as well. So that one's going to be a little bit trickier. It's not right inside. There's there's a, a good bit of running you have to run to grab that. But in the next episode, we will finish up uh, we'll finish up the zone, the outskirts, in addition to grabbing the hammer and chisel and the first upgrade for that so that you are set to go out on your journey regardless of what shell or what weapon you want to use. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you all soon enough with more.